Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So many of you had a lot to say after watching my 8 essential Japanese condiments video which you can watch if you missed it by clicking up here or the link in the description. The most common complaint I got was why is Kewpie not on there? Well it's because I gave what the most essential condiments were, not what the best ones were. So here are my 6 favorite Japanese condiments. Also, I'm going to be doing a giveaway at the end of this video, so keep an eye out for that. So favorite Japanese condiment number one is everybody's favorite, Kewpie mayonnaise. Japanese mayo is so good and while there are a bunch of different brands, Kewpie is the most popular and has been around since the 1920s. Kewpie uses the Kewpie baby doll as the logo and is in a nice squeeze bottle so it is super easy to use. Japanese mayo is used on everything from making it in dishes like potato salad or putting it on top of dishes like okonomiyaki or takoyaki to even using it to dip just your veggies straight in it or karage into it. So Japanese mayo is made using only the egg yolk while American mayo uses the whole egg. Also American mayo uses distilled white vinegar and Japanese mayo uses rice vinegar or apple cider vinegar. Because of this Japanese mayo is a little bit stronger in flavor, it's a little tangier, it's a little sweeter and the consistency is a little bit more custard cream like. So Japanese Kewpie has MSG in it which is probably why it tastes so good but the new American made one since they do sell this in the states doesn't have MSG I think but MSG isn't even bad for you so try it for the ones that have MSG. But like everybody else, I love Kewpie and I use it for everything that calls for mayo, Japanese recipes or not. Condiment number two is furikake. This is another one I put on everything from just plain rice to my veggies. Furikake is a super popular Japanese dried topping or seasoning that is usually made out of dried fish, seaweed, sesame seeds, sugar, salt, and MSG. Although there are a zillion types of furikake out there, ones with like salmon, tarako, um, egg, bonito flakes, anything. My favorite is the katsobushi or bonito flake and egg combo ones. Obviously it is heavily popular in Japan, but in the states it is also extremely popular in Hawaii and on the west coast where they use it in fusion dishes like in poke or they also use it in like furikake party mix things. And number three is one that I put also on everything which is shichimi togarashi. Japanese foods are typically not very spicy naturally but they do have seasonings to bring the spice level up and this is one of them. Shichimi togarashi means seven flavored chili pepper and it takes seven ingredients or more mixed in to make this. Usually it includes red chili pepper, sancho which is Japanese pepper, uh, roasted orange peel, sesame seeds and other stuff. There's other togarashi like ichimi which means one type of chili, it uses just red chili pepper but I like shichimi because since there's so many ingredients it has a really nice full and complex flavor. Traditionally it is used in soups, noodles, rice bowl dishes, donburi but recently it's been expanding a lot more so they have it on like rice crackers but also I put it on like everything so I put it on my egg salad sandwiches, I put it on my vegetables, like anything it is good. So number four which sort of plays off the last one is shichimi negi salt. Okay so this is not a common or popular condiment at all but it is a seven ingredient green onion salt. It's not spicy like the shichimi togarashi but it has a lot of good flavor for being a salt. Japan has lots of fun salts like matcha salt and yuzu salt and I saw this one and I love green onions so I thought it was worth a try. I got it and now I am obsessed. Like I have backup bottles in my cupboard. So while I don't use it to replace salt in every dish because it's unnecessary and other flavors will mask it, I do use it in dishes where the salt is heavily relied upon, for example salted grilled fish. It lends a really really nice flavor and this is probably one of my most used and enjoyed condiments. And number five is yuzu kosho. Yuzu kosho is a paste like seasoning that is made out of chili peppers, yuzu peel and salt and then it's fermented. It's spicy but it's also a different spicy from togarashi. Togarashi is sort of a lighter spice and this one has a bit more of a bite. 
It is also spicier than it sounds or it seems, so a really, a little bit goes a really long way. It is usually used in nabe hot pot or like sashimi and sushi, but my favorite way to use it is putting a little bit in miso soup. It is like a secret ingredient to make it a little bit spicy and have like a nice refreshing pop. So next time you make miso soup, try it. So now people are getting all crazy with it and they're spreading it onto chicken and baking it, which is really good. And you could also turn it into a really nice salad dressing. I actually got this one from Shinseng Gumi and it is a mirin vinaigrette with yuzu kosho. Super nice and refreshing. And the last one, number six, is rayu, which is spicy chili oil. It's another way to make your dish spicy, but it's actually not that strong. Most commonly, it's used in ramen or it's gyoza. You could really put it on anything, but I actually want to talk about taberu rayu, which is a little different. It's a little different in that regular rayu is just an oil, but taberu rayu, which means like to eat, rayu that you're able to eat, has um, a little bit more body because it has chopped up garlic, chopped up onions, and chopped up pepper in it. So it's a little bit more of like a paste and thicker, and you could actually chew it. It's so good, just throw it on rice, on tofu, throw it on anything. Okay, so those are my six favorite Japanese condiments that maybe are not necessarily the most useful in the kitchen, but they are my favorite and I can eat them forever. Okay, now it is giveaway time. Here are the requirements. One, make sure you are subbed to this YouTube channel. And two, write in the comments your favorite Japanese condiment or one that you would love to try. And in one week on July 27th, I'm going to pick one winner and they are going to be sent the condiment of their choice and maybe a little extra. And you can get more entries by posting about this giveaway on your Instagram or Instagram stories and tag at Sylvia Wakana. And that is it, good luck, enter, have your friends enter, it's gonna be a good time. Thank you so much again for watching and make sure to like this video and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Mata ne!